In this video, I'll be showing you three fast ways to make coins in FIFA 21. This is part of my Trading to 1 Million Coin series, the slowest Trading to 1 Million Coin series on YouTube. I'm very, very proud of that. <laughs> right, let's just, 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 shush, shush. This video, honestly, shouldn't even be being made. We should have this series sorted already. However, it's taken me a long, long time. However, you lads enjoy this series. I'm enjoying making it. So, let's try and smash over 500 likes on this video. Honestly, the support at the minute is absolutely insane. Thank you so much to people who have been coming watching me do my streams. But, this is another episode of my Train to 1 Million Coin series. I said that I'd be doing it every time I make 100,000 coins. Thankfully, we're on around 500,000 coins at the minute. So, let's jump into it. Like I said, though, like this video, comment down if you need help with anything subscribe if you're new but let's get into it just before we get into the video lads if you do want to buy yourself any fifa 21 coins make sure to go to the link in the description and check out mule factory they've got a 24 7 service they're completely reliable and if you use the code le5 cheap at checkout you will get yourself a five percent discount so boys jumping over to this series you'll look in the top left and you'll go lewis why the bloody hell are you on 44,000 coins and trying to tell people how to make coins right i've got Cards already bought, just hold your horses, will you? Anyway, let's jump over to the transfer list. Yeah, I've been trading with quite a bit. Now, if you've come watching the streams that we've been doing, thank you everybody who has been, by the way. 500 live viewers we had the other day, which is absolutely ridiculous. Honestly, the support on this channel at the minute is absolutely ridiculous, and I can't thank every single one of you enough for it. Honestly, you put me into a position where I'm doing this on a full-time basis at the minute, and I don't really have to worry about doing like odd jobs and stuff like that. So just before we get into anything, I do really appreciate it. From me, Lewis, rather than LA96, said i genuinely do appreciate it now like i said though this video is going to be three ways to make fast coins now if you want to skip through anything if you go to the little bottom of here there will be a little bit where you can sort of click through and in the description there will be little timestamps and stuff but i want to run you through everything because the last time that we did an episode on this series it was a couple of days ago so let's run through everything i've been trading with specials with shadow and hunter chemistry styles on them now i do need to give a big shout out to two people buzzball and daniel ellis i think his name is like v273 on twitch or something like that now i'm not saying that i've come up with these methods these methods have actually come from the videos the streams and stuff like that so it doesn't feel right for me to sit here and be like this method's so sick and not mention them they do have a site as well called foot trading they've not asked me to promote this they don't even know that i'm going to be saying anything about this but the work rate of them two leads at the minute is ridiculous so i'm going to put their links in the description go and give them a follow go and do whatever you need to do go over to the website go and check out the website and the services that they are offering because it's a very very nice trading service however like i said i, I feel a bit daft sort of mentioning this method whilst not giving them a plug as well for example fuzzball right he started a trading to one million coin series the man's done it in four days what's my excuse yeah Go and check them out, boys. But like I said, we will have three different fast ways to make coins in FIFA 21. So I need to run you through everything that we've got at the minute. As you'll be able to see, I do have cards listed up at the minute. And once some of these do actually sell on, we should be over 500,000 coins. Because like I said, it will be an episode every 100,000 coins. And basically, the premise for these methods that you're going to be seeing in this video is going to be specials with hunters and shadows on them. Now, in addition to that as well, I have got some cards. Okay, no, I've got some cards over here that I think that I dropped bids on to sort of fix a filter as you can see right here got a tavernier here and in addition to that as well I've also picked up some cards for flips now I don't really want to go into these too much because I don't really know what I'm doing however I've picked up some of these cards because Lengley for example he's gone out of packs Gomez was just a bit too cheap anyway for example Gomez at the minute 26k I think he will go up ever so slightly with Thursday rewards tomorrow Mendy as well 27 750 I only really looked at Mendy and Gomez because they're pretty much everybody who's anyone does flips on these so i thought why not pick them up the night before also got a kunde as well because he will be providing links to quite a lot of different french players at the minute and in addition to that as well i think that people may play him with long lit i'm not 100 percent too sure right either way we've took some risks on there however once they've sold and everything else is sold we'll be on over 500 000 coins now let's just first off address the elephant in the room we have changed setups as you can see right here we've got abe in the background now we've got these cards from dynamic foot store which you can check with the link in the description and we've also got Alan Partridge in the 100k plaque. I, I needed to move a few things around basically for the new year. Now let's jump into this first method. Quality special chemistry style shadow. This method honestly lads is perfect if you've got say 
you're probably looking around 300,000 to 500,000 coins the upwards now if you've got say like 10k and you're like I don't know what to do with that 10k you just click up here it will take you to the first episode of this series and I've tried to sort of keep the methods as non-topical as possible rather than sort of showing off me investing in loads of 84s 85s or whatever it may be for different SBCs I've tried to get methods in here that are applicable at any time of the year, sort of hence why I'm showing this method off. So, special shadow, min price 10k to get rid of the Champions League cards, max price 12,000 coins because people are going to be listing up cards with a minimum price on them of around 10 to 50, and the min buy now needs to be around 18,000 coins. Now, at the minute, you could actually do this on different days with the min buy now being a lot less. However, some absolute invalid has decided to list up all of his Valverde's 83 at 18,000 coins. Coins. Why you might be asking not a clue. He's got shit for brains. It's one of them What can you do? What can you do? So what we need to do is we need to filter out those cards because we need one card Over the hour mark to do this method So we're gonna come on right here and we're gonna go over to the very very end and we're basically looking for a card over the hour mark so what we're going to do here is put this max price up until we've got one card over the hour mark you might be wondering well why do you need that one card over the hour mark now the reason for that is is because if you don't have the card over the hour mark the market won't refresh and what we're going to be doing is refreshing the market by using a compare price back out method or a compare price method depending on how active the filter is at the time so you can see right here that i've filtered everything out where i've got one card over the hour mark which is this tavernier right here and then at this point right here what I need to do is sit here and just refresh now what I'm doing here is refreshing using compare price and then backing out as you can see right here so you just have to sit here and literally just keep refreshing refreshing and refreshing and what's gonna happen is players are gonna not really realize how valuable cards are with shadows on them so basically what happens is is say this Samson right here or say this Sane which is actually a deal at 22 and a half K say for example they've got a Sane in in the club and they go on to say foot bin foot whiz, whatever it is and they go and check his price they'll go over here and they'll check the price and let's take a look at sane right here so i'm just on foot bin at the minute and i'm just going to take a look at sane on my pc admittedly you lads can't see it but you don't really need to at this stage so i'm going to go over to sane now on xbox one at the minute sane's minimum price is 23 and a half thousand coins now with a shadow on him that actually increases his value around 3,000 coins because typically shadows go for around 3,000 coins so theoretically with a shadow on him if he's worth 23 and a half thousand coins with a shadow adding that extra value at 3,000 coins it's 26 and a half thousand coins so say for example me picking him up at 22 and a half K that's not a bad deal and the good thing with this is is you can actually sell these cards overnight and they will sell overnight at a slightly inflated price because the market gets very very sparse overnight because there's not as many people playing it so let's go and take a look at Sane with a shadow on him as you'll be able to see there's loads of him up at around 26,000 coins, 25,000 coins. There's one there at 24,000 coins, which has just been bought. So we know that the average price roughly is around 26,000 coins. I've picked up mine at 22 and a half thousand coins, thus making that a good deal. Now, I appreciate that this method can be very, very difficult to sort of get your head around. And if you don't know the prices, it is quite hard, but bear with me. I've got loads of other methods as well. So we're going to come over here and go over to Sane. Now, with him being in centre mid, does add a tiny bit of value onto him. So for the sake of this video I'm just going to list him up at 26,000 coins and we are going to be making around 2,000 coins profit from this this is why I was saying that the more coins that you have with this method the better because you can put in say 400,000 coins looking to make around 10 20 percent profit and then when you do that and it's 400,000 coins 10 percent profit is 40,000 coins so if you're doing it every single time you can actually make yourself very very nice coins so like I said let's Find a card on the market. Learning the prices is probably the hardest bit, in my opinion, because you don't know them, and people, honestly, whip them up as quick as anything, and that's sort of what I was alluding to with Fuzzball and Dan's site, is that they make a site where they tell you exactly what to buy at. So, for example, here, there's not really too much kicking about, but say, over the night, they'll start to pop up more and more. And then what you can do is list them up overnight for a flip. And as you'll be able to see in the top left, our card has actually just sold on instantly, making us a very, very nice 2,000 coins. So it's a really, really fast way to make coins. There's an Alan Herb with 
a shadow on him 50,000 coins however I know that he's going for 50,000 coins but he doesn't sell at that inflated price unfortunately it's just it is what it is it really is what it is there's another Sane here at 24,000 not really anything there but you basically get the gist of the method take a look on footbin see what the price is then you look back on your console if it's an undercutted price it's a deal if it's not it's not Footwiz, sometimes leads, is actually the better site to go with because the price can be the tiniest bit more updated than going through Footbin where sometimes it is like half an hour to update the price. Canate there at 31,500 coins, not a deal. You ideally want to be getting under 30,000 coins at this moment in time when I'm recording this for that. But... If this method's blagging your head, don't worry, I've got two other ones for you as well. So moving into the next method, it is going to be very similar to the shadow method. However, it's going to be with hunters instead. Now, when you're doing all these methods, shadows are typically the more defensive-minded players, whereas hunters can be the more attacking-minded players. So we're going to settle the filter the exact same as we did before. We're hoping for one player over the hour mark. As you'll be able to see right here, there's absolutely loads of players over the hour mark. So what is the minimum price on all of these? It's looking like 11 to 15. 50, I think could be the good price for this. So we're going to come to 11,250 just to see the one card over the hour mark. And we've still got another card in Grealish. Okay, so it's going to have to be the tiniest bit cheaper. That's absolutely fine. It's no, it's no bother, lads. It's no bother. Don't get stressed out when you're trading. Please, please don't, boys. So we've got an early guard on the market at 27,500 coins. I don't think that one's a deal. But we've also got some Kubos, Diabis as well. But we've got that one card over the hour mark. So at this stage, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to my PC. I'm going to load up Footwiz this time because I don't really know this filter as well as the Shadow one. So I'm not that good at picking up the deals as quickly. So with this, say for example, Kubo at the minute, I'm going to take a look on Footbin. And I already know the price of Kubo. He's 19,000 coins. So Kubo with a Hunter on him ain't going to sell. Well, he might do overnight at 22,500 coins. But for us, it's not a deal. Ideally, what we want is a bigger undercut than that. So Pepe the Ollie Watkins 81 rated card is a bit of an interesting one in cam. But I don't think that he'll be going for two. Eh, eh. Have a panic bot there. Yes, I have. Am I bothered? Not really. Now, the reason why I've picked him up is because on Footwiz, it says he's going for 19,000 coins. So at 18,000 coins with a Hunter and in cam, I think increases his value. Probably, I personally say, around 2,000, 3,000 coins. So what we're going to do here is just back out dead quick. And we're just going to go and take a look to see what Watkins is actually going for at the minute. So we're going to jump over to the transfer market. And we're going to find out what price is. I'm a, I'm a bit sus of this price. I can't lie. I am a bit sus of this price. Now, similarly to the Shadow, Hunter will increase the value by around 2,000 coins rather than 3,000 coins with Shadow. Shadow one is the better one to do, but it is the more complicated method. So I'm going to take a look here. And there's actually one there at 18,500 coins. So we've actually done quite well with both of these cards already because there wasn't actually anything cheaper than 20,000 coins. And I've just got one at 18,000 coins and 18,500 coins. So the minimum on the market at the minute is 20,500 coins. So with the ones that we've got, we can list them up at 20,000 coins. Or if we wanted to, we could list them overnight for a tiny bit more of an inflated price. So for example, with the cam one, I am going to list it up overnight at 22,000 coins to so try and get that sell on. And then and what I'm going to do is jump back over to this Ollie Watkins and I'm going to sell him at 20,000 coins. Now, the profit on this is only 500 coins. However, you're going for the better deals where you can do. So there you go, lads. There is the third method. No, the second method. So let's get into the third method of this video. Jesus, Lewis. So the easiest method out of all these methods that I'm going to be showing you is literally just by going special. You want to go to the min price, this min buy now down here, and you just want to set it to 10,250, 10,500. You want to go over to the chemistry style and you want to set it to shadow. Now, ideally what you're going for here is cards who are inform cards, special cards, whatever it may be. And again, you're looking for one card over the hour mark. And as you'll be able to see here, there are actually a load of Alverdes up, but there's isn't anything over the hour mark at the minute however if we go over here there is one there at 12 at 750 so you set this down to 12 750 just to sort of get that one player over the hour mark and then again you would sit here and you would just refresh as much as you can do as you'll be able to see here that there isn't really anything yet. However, maybe in like 10, 15 minutes, something will pop up or maybe even less than that for a honestly bottom, bottomed out price. And if you want to, you can make this the tiniest bit more sparse on the filter just by setting this to say gold team of the week. So let's take a look right here. 15, 250. And then we go over to this right here. We've got a Rafinha there at 
500, but there's another one there at 15K, so that's not a deal. Basically, you just need to make the filter as sparse as you possibly can do. So Rodriguez here, we've got Sanes here as well, and then we're gonna go over to around the 59th minute. Let's take a look, and there's loads of cards over the 59th minute. But again, you basically get the picture with this method, boys, and these are the methods that I've been using to make all of these coins recently. And if we go over to my transfer list, you'll be able to see that we've actually managed to get a lot of sells on with a lot of these players right here. And when they sell on, they will revert back to their normal position. But that's basically where I'm gonna be leaving this video, lads. This video is gonna be going up on New Year's Eve with tomorrow gonna to be a team takedown with Cap Gun Tom. So if you are looking forward to that, drop a like on it. But I will be back with another episode of this series probably in like two, three days. But lads, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, drop a like on it. Comment down below if you need any help with anything. Subscribe if you're new. Fault this 26, Lewis, and I am off. Goodbye.